good, along with plenty bad. But ugly is something I simply never had. A fucking bronco never stops kicking. So while the clock's ticking, here's the thing about the wicked. If you lay them to rest. The Outer Worlds has been rated M by the ESRB for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. It is approved for mature players only. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome to The Outer Worlds. Now, those of you who've been with me since the beginning know that I tried to play The Outer Worlds earlier, but it was a time when I was stupid and overloaded myself. I actually was trying to play 12 games a week, if you can believe it. Uh, like I said, it was stupid, it was ridiculous, and uh, I had to quit. But I always swore I'd come back to it, and here it is. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so now we're going to the Groundbreaker. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Let's talk when you're free. Hey, Captain. I heard the Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure. We can head over in engineering. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, nope. Excuse me. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Okay. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. Right. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies, just as I remembered. Well, that reminds me. No, that's just too creepy. I need to get this man some armor. Okay, yes, uh, right. I said no, let's not do that. Are you telling me I have to, uh... Oh, I see. He wears the creepy stuff until I can buy him better. That's not the point. This hat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out of the airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Uh, I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Um, what happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, 
my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolve your differences like an adult, that's right? That's I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. <laughs> uh, got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Uh, that's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to tuck your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Never caught your name, I'm Grumpy Bongo. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'll see you around, Phil Felix. See you around, boss. Boss? You learn to keep your eyes to yourself in my job. Nobody wants you looking close. Right. Notice it's all stealing around here. That would probably not be a good thing. Do you mind? I'm trying to file a report. Move along. Okay. I'm guessing they're not going to want to talk to me. If you're not crew, you're little people. Customs and inspection, right this way! Wait, did I see a vending? Yes, vending machine. Okay, that's the armor I have, right? The elite armor? It's not the best choice, but it's the choice. Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. And is somebody you can read the book? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra II some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this <coughs> colony could translate that book, it would be him. That sounds like a good lead, but where do we find That's him? That's a good question. Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra II. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifests to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Thank you, Captain. That's 
Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've Wait. hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Okay, how do I get you this resolved? Take it with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. Can't miss it. Okay. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. Yeah. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, uh, looking for someone named Gladys. Offense. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Okay. All right. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Okay. Thanks for sure the thing. Be seeing you. Okay, so... Quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area of cut inside. You'll be shot on sight. Use a disguise will prevent immediate hostile hostilities. This is it. Security. I can check the departures register to find out which crew changed. I mean, stop. The ship did it out No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You're hearing things. No, seriously. It was a lot of Lawless, savage, and unemployed. Do you hear that, folks? Rest and go. Okay. That's a current miss. Ask Gator about the SAM unit. Yeah, let's do this one first. It's up here. I'm sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. 
It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's, it's Spacer's, Spacer's choice. choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. Heard of it? My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. I'm sure. <clears throat> That's true. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice, beer. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap. Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. Sure, let's see what you got yeah, to, to sell. Alright. He's got a bunch of nanners. That's good. I'm thinking about taking this just because. Block plus five, armor ten. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy one of those. I don't know why I'm buying the moon helmet, but I'm going to buy it. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? Okay. BNP, I can't believe it's not for It's unbelievable. Pratworth's vendor discovered. Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. At ease. Nice to see an outsider with some working brain cells. Well, I'm trying not to be a so troublemaker. A I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Um. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. We seem different. So welcome aboard. Well, thank you. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Stop flirting with her. This is my love interest. Wow, great! <clears throat> I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. She's so adorable. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. 
Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Um. <clears throat> Groundbreakers' radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. The back bays. Um, how do you know that there's a catch, right? The back bays are on a lower deck, <clears throat> long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Um, I'll get you this parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Hey, how about that? We leveled up and we have a new side quest. Okay, where do I want to put my points? I want my points, let's see. We're going to... Stealth, Tech, Leadership, Leadership, Dialogue, Defense, Defense, Ranged, um, Stealth, and... Tech. Okay, good. That's my skills. Let's apply them. Yes. <clears throat> now perks. Okay, what do I want here? See, return the unreliable. And ask Pravardi about Jun Lee. Okay, we'll do that soon. Locate a security terminal. We'll do that soon. First, though. We'll do this. Let's listen to this for a second. Oh, okay. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. <laughs> we also have a line of specialized melee weapons for those times you have to repel borders but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Uh, let me see what you have. Alright. 
Miracle on the Frontier, Deserters Forced to Return by Heroic Stranger. That was me. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? <laughs> uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Okay, I don't have enough Persuade. Um, intimidate won't work. Wow. Okay, so I gotta watch out for the mech and go to the minigun immediately. And that's it for this session of The Outer Worlds. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. It does help me with the algorithm on YouTube. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. I'll see you next time for more Outer Worlds. Bye-bye. been trapped in that ship for an awful long time, so perhaps you have simply forgot what you signed. Oh, honestly, did you not read the colony policy that defined you as company property that wavered your say in autonomy?